What's going on guys? I'm Alexander Brown here, AKA Conscience, and we are diving into uh, the next track, Auto, which is hands down uh, the most uh, streamed song across all of my platforms. And uh, people really resonated with that record. That was the first record that I ever did for the entire album. And it really set the stage for the sound and sonics that were going through my head in terms of wanting to bring a new sound um, to the hip hop community. Uh, I was really influenced by a lot of the early and new trap that was out, uh, but I also wanted to attack uh, the music from a very minimalistic standpoint. So I wanted the music to be simple enough that you felt like you could sing along with. You know, there wasn't too much of a ceiling there in terms of, you know, people feeling like they couldn't follow along because there was a lot of dynamic range. Uh, but I also wanted it to have high energy and passion uh, to just add a layer of emotional connectivity with my audience that said, hey, you know, I'm very passionate about what I'm talking about here. And so I've explained this many times before. The song is about a parallel between, you know, comparing uh, faith and the conditions of your faith uh, with the conditions of a vehicle um, and, and more so asking who's driving your vehicle because, you know, car problems, you know, we all have them. Uh, we're always taking our car in for oil change and as the years progress, bigger expenses go out the window. You start spending $500, $1,000, a couple thousand dollars uh, for repairs on your car and it just seems like every year they never end, you know. Um, my, I own both of my cars and uh, they, they require thousands of dollars a year to deal with. So cars are very familiar to me on top of the fact that I do my night drives. And so um, I think that's why this concept came to my mind is just, man, we really don't know what's going on under the hood, do we? You know, And God is all knowing. And so he can see uh, what's going on uh, behind the scenes and what we're doing to affect that. And he's orchestrating a way to grow us closer to him in all experiences. And so, um, yeah, you know, this song, I wanted it to be very catchy, very bouncy. You know, a lot of times when I'm talking about serious, weighty things, I like the music to be bouncy because I still like the, the musical value to carry you on a certain rhythm. I feel like rhythm, movement, and energy are all some of the most important facets of a song because they steer the the chemical movement of your body as you're listening to it in, in all of the subconscious ways that you don't quite understand. And so when I'm delivering weighty truth, you have to first feel called to listen and, and connected to listen. And so um, that that's my approach for kind of not necessarily making a club banger or an anthem, but making something so rhythmic and so catchy and so vibey that you have to tap into it. Um, I've gone through a couple of different interviews where I go into the song concept more deeply, but I just remember when I made that song, that was when I decided, you know what, I really want to try to sing a little bit more um, true to myself, you know, this kind of minimalistic feel where I only belt out runs if I feel like it. Um, and I feel like it, it delivered a component to the words that wasn't already there. I tried to oversimplify and speak simply uh, because these were such deep things. I didn't want to over, over artsy it, quote unquote. Um, and, and, and so that allowed me to really tap into a space where I could focus strictly on the performance. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I didn't write any of the lyrics for this album. I, I was walking through and tackling the question of, what would it look like um, for somebody who loves God, who has the intent to worship God and be biblical, approach a song in a freestyle format, but to prevent a lot of error that comes with just kind of speaking abruptly, or not abruptly, but speaking impulsively, um, why don't we just think about the song longer? Excuse me. So by the time we get to making the song, we're so sure about what we want to say and we've been wrestling with these things for so long that you really don't have to think too long to figure out what you want to say. It just becomes a point of articulation and execution on the performance standpoint. I really had to isolate those two categories to tap into a space of creativity that I haven't done on previous works. And I think that that really worked out. You know, I wasn't, I hadn't recorded these songs until like, I don't know, maybe a month or two even 
of listening to the beats and thinking through the concepts for an extremely long time. So you can just imagine the amount of influence that was already in my mind and well thought out and rehearsed before I even got to the mic. And uh, so again, isolating those categories of like song concept, song content, and then the performance aspect of it, dealing with all of this stuff months prior allowed me to really just go all in on the performance and refine it. And I really needed to do that because, you know, if you looked at all the takes it, it took for me to record the session and all that, I recorded hundreds of takes and only kept, you know, 50 or less. So it really did take a lot of that refinement and focus and time to execute. I really hope you guys, you know, dug the song. I hope it helps you question this idea of autonomy and the fact that we love to drive our own car and we love to act like we know what's going on. And then when stuff goes on, the shame that's associated with the fact of, man, I didn't maintain my car or my faith well, um, we begin to hide and cover up and not want to show the damage that we've actually caused because a lot of times we live waving the flag of, I know what's best for me. And so letting the truth out, which is that uh, only God knows what's best for me and, um, and, and the relationship I have with God is more telling of the thermostat of where I'm at with my car or faith or life. Um, that's that can really be what uh you know the difference between death and life and so um that's just kind of the conversation i'm having with myself the audience and god is what's going on while i'm doing all this driving well i'm ignoring god i'm trying to do everything on my own and everything is going bad and so it's it's a it's a realignment and a message of um god i need you to take the wheel and so, again, you can check this song out as well as the entire album on ConscienceHipHop.com. And uh, can't wait to hear what y'all thought of this record. A lot of comments and feedback have been coming in, but I know there's a ton of you out there who haven't tapped in yet. So let me know what you think, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.